Oh there. Yo, what's up? Not much. So, this is Riverside, huh? Yep, this is it. The collaboration wow. between them and Spotify for podcasters. Wow. Huh. So how do you think this is going to turn out? Well, they, from what I've seen, according to Spotify for podcasters themselves, they're saying that they're going to get rid of the their native tools and editing stuff features and whatnot, and they're going to, going to be relying on Riverside.fm with their tools for people using Spotify for podcasters to do their episodes from, and then transfer what they recorded on Riverside to Spotify for podcasters. Ah, okay, got you. I thought they were just going to get rid of Spotify for podcasters as a whole. Oh, no, no, no. They're, they're going to keep that. It's a platform for distribution, management, and monetization. Riverside.fm is the platform mainly used for recording and editing. Got you, got you. Okay, so pretty much, so pretty much, Spotify for podcasters is just going to be for monetization and just tracking. Yeah, it's going to be used as a way to promote your podcast and do some other administrative related stuff and distribute it to other podcasting platforms. Oh, okay, got you then. Okay, okay, that's uh, okay, that's. Not bad. That's not bad. I guess. Yeah. Uh. Yeah. That. That's definitely pretty interesting. Um. Yeah. So, what has been up? Uh, quite a decent amount of stuff. There's this. I don't know what it, I don't know what it is exactly, but I know you can use it to cook stuff. But it uses the power of the sun. Oh. Okay. So. That's okay. That's pretty good. Um. Yeah. You don't know what it's called? No, I don't know what it's called. But I do know it can it can burn or boil stuff. At 750 degrees Fahrenheit. That's pretty hot. Yeah, it is. I think the government is going to go after him and put an end to this, because we, we, don't, we don't need the sun to cook our food. we got wood and coal and gas and something like that. Well, I'll be honest, I've been, I've been slowly considering just growing my own food, because it's like, uh, I'd have to go somewhere else for that, though. I can't do it where I'm at now. I could. No. Yeah, I'm, I say the same. Yeah, I could do that, but what am I gonna grow? Like two, like two tomatoes for you? Yeah. But yeah. I've been considering growing my own food because at that point, that just seems easier. Easier. I mean, it's probably harder, but it's easier. Plus, plus, like you know, what I grow is gonna, I, I'll actually know if it's fresh and not just sprayed with you know chemicals. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, I'm not gonna lie. I watched a video. Um, I watched a video about grapes and like, you know, pretty much this person was washing off their grapes and like, there was all this stuff on it too. It was all this like, uh, stuff on it too. So like, yeah, so I'm really like being cautious about that. Now I did the same thing, like, you know, with pretty much how they washed their grapes. I washed my grapes cause it's like, bro, I'm like, okay, you know, I, I can see that like me just putting water on it. It's not going to be enough. I'd use, I'd use soap, I'd use soap to really clean the, clean the grapes off. Cause it's like I, I just can't trust. I just can't trust like anything in stores anymore. I can't. I mean, I have to get I have to get the stuff from the stores, but I can't trust it as much. Yeah, they're always gonna put something in there to like weaken our immune systems or make us frail and wrinkled, and then oh boy, it's uh, I remember the old days in it, son. Yeah. I'm not gonna lie. There was this one video that I, I I kept seeing around where this guy who was screaming, he was um he was screaming about like you know, uh, grapes, apples, things that God gave us for free and we're paying for it, like and water and all that stuff too. And I'm like, he has a good point. Why are we paying for this stuff? Yeah, what's up with that? He had a good point. It's like yeah, we're really no like here's the reason why we're paying for it is because like most people don't feel like growing stuff themselves they don't feel like dude like life is just so convenient it's like you can go to a store and like everything is there for you so i yeah. get so, so i get it even a woman passing by she was talking to someone she's like why isn't life easier or why isn't life free and i'm like that's a good question and the reason why life isn't free is because we make it that way we are we are too lazy to like you know like do the work like grow our grow our own food and just like you know make sure our water is clean Pretty much, yeah. My sis, my sis, my, I have a, I have another sister who actually grows, who actually grows fruit, 
and grows like vegetables. Hmm. Interesting. Uh, yeah, she lives in a house. She lives in a house, but you know, um, she has a, she has a place in her yard where like you know she can grow like ve- fruits, vegetables, and all that stuff. Cause I'm pretty sure even she, I'm pretty sure even she knows that there's something up with the food that we eat. But yeah, yeah, pretty much. But very good. You know, from the, huh? Very good. Yeah, that's good. <laughs> I always wonder why she did. Why didn't she just buy anything? And now I, I probably I know why. For her. Yeah. So. Um, so I'm just eating right now. I haven't eaten all day. Um, okay. yeah. But yeah, so, what else is there? The Grammys. Oh, I don't care. <laughs> let's Fair talk enough. About the, let's talk about the Grammys, though. Who won? Now, there is one moment from the Grammys that, uh, I did not see coming, but it is absolutely understandable. Taylor Swift won? Yeah, when Taylor Swift was receiving one of her Grammys, uh, there was something in the teleprompter saying, with a red background in yellow writing, please stop. As she was talking, it was about to finish. Please stop, the teleprompter said. And then by the time she was finished, the teleprompter changed to uh, the device script that all the presenter are expected to read from to keep the sh- to keep the show going. Wait, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Let me get this straight. So while Taylor Swift was talking, the p- mm-hmm. the teleprompter said, "Please stop." Yeah. Because there's a time limit on how long people can talk for when it comes to introducing categories and providing their speeches for receiving their reward. And it seems like Taylor Swift wait, may have went over the time limit and now the telephone's like, shut up. Let's move on with the show, please. That, oh, that's the I vibe I got. So. I thought they were just doing that because they found her annoying. Well, I, I, wouldn't, I wouldn't blame you if they see that too. But of course, uh, yeah, it... Every, everyone's going crazy over it. Just, just, just find it hilarious that, that even the Grammys can't stand her, a lot of people say. Let's face it, no one... I actually know that's a lie. A lot of people like Taylor Swift. That is a lot. That is a lie. A lot of people like Taylor Swift. And I'm like, eh, she, probably, she has some good songs out, but, you know, she's not worth... She's not worth idolizing. I don't... I don't... I don't get it. And she's pretty mid when it... In terms of look. She's not ugly. She's just mid. So I, I really, so I really don't get it. Yeah, neither do I. I, I also say the same thing. There are a couple of songs that uh, I, li- I pretty much like, and it's a vibe most a lot of the times. But of course, I think a lot of the hype that she gets is a bit too much. If she's getting yeah. too much hype, then she what she 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 she's to be acclaimed for. Honestly, yeah, it's like you know, and her fans. I heard that they're the Swifties. Yeah, the Swifties. I'll be honest. I, they they might see something that I don't, but I don't see it. Fair enough. I really I really don't see it. And I heard that they were very hardcore fans too. Like you know, they they really be doxing people for, in real life. Shoot, I mean, yeah, when a guy when a guy posted an AI photo of uh, Taylor Swift, her fans doxed that that guy, and he privated his um Twitter account wow. because of how bad it was. Yeah. I'm I like, cannot imagine. I can't imagine a time a couple of years ago that the Swifties would do the would have done the things that they would be doing today. I think it's only when her Eras tour got launched where I started to hear a lot more about Taylor Swift and the Swifties. Before then, it, it's completely unheard of unless she released a song that's going to get like tens, hundred million views on YouTube. That's all I hear about Taylor Swift. But now, after since her Eras tour got launched. Uh, Taylor Swift is always a topic at some point, whether it be NFL or somewhere in a city that her ears tour is taking place. But it, all I hear about is Taylor Swift. I'm always going to hear Taylor Swift at least twice a week, if not more. I'll be honest. Ever since the ears tour got launched, the name the Swifty sounds like a religion, hmm. or or Swift or Swiftism, or you know, Swift. Yes, yeah, Swifties. It sounds like. It sounds like they work. They like. It just sounds like they worship this woman. I'm like, really, really. I mean, I, I I don't see it. I just Neither don't do see I. it. She's, I mean, yeah, she has good songs, but is she really good, worth that much hype? She's decent songs. She's pretty mid in looks, so I really don't get it. It's like I'm not gonna lie. If you're really gonna demote your your time and energy to worshiping a celebrity, then. Uh, I'll say this, like, look, 
you better just be making something from it. Because, like, look, if you're just sitting in your basement doing, like, just tweeting, thinking that you're making an impact by worshipping this woman when you're really not, then, bro, at least make something from it. Because it's like, look, look, it's the same thing with wrestling. It's the same thing with wrestling, wrestling fans. If you're, if, you're, if you're a wrestling fan and you're tweeting constantly about, like, you know, wrestling and all that stuff, the least you can do is make it, make it like, you know, your bread and butter. Yeah, do something. exactly. Like, yeah, yeah, just make it your bread and butter. At least make it profitable to your life. I'm not gonna condone. Wor- I'm not gonna condone worshiping anybody, but if you're gonna do that, at least make it your bread and butter. Make it make it something profitable, so like you can, I don't know, do something nice for yourself, your parents, anybody really. Or if it's just like you know, extra money on the side, who cares? You know? Yeah, absolutely. But yeah, no, just but if you're just a person doing this, thinking you're gonna make a difference, and bro, you're a loser. Yeah. Um, oh, at what cost are you doing these things? Exactly. I'm pretty sure the big Swift accounts, the big Swift fan accounts, make a ton for make a good amount to like you know pay rent at least. But yeah, they probably make a good amount. Yeah. So yeah, at least make something from it. But you know, I'm probably never gonna get it. And you know, it is what it is at the end of the day. I mean, like, look, I don't see it. You know, just like you know, just like you don't see my beliefs, and that's fine. But like, bro. <laughs> You're really going to bombard someone if they insult Taylor Swift? That's kind. Of, that's wild. Yeah, that's certainly wild. Exactly. Exactly. Like you're not going to. How do I put this? You're not. Like, you know, once you go to the grave, are you? Re- Hold on. Once you're on your deathbed, you're gonna be proud of this life. You're gonna be proud of the fact that you were defending a woman who doesn't even know you, who doesn't care about you in the slightest. You're gonna be proud of that. You're gonna be like, yeah. Back in my day, I ran a fan account for Taylor Swift. Yeah, and when everybody, uh, when everybody would insult her, oh, we would go wild. We would bombard people. We would, if they even have kids, let's talk about it. Oh, yeah. When they ever have kids, if they are wanting to be independent women, they don't need no man. Or, or, or just fat incel men, but... <laughs> <laughs> you oh, know, yeah, that's but, it. oh wait, they're not gonna have kids to even tell that story to, because because they because they believe in abortion. So like, yeah, they're not gonna release have anybody to tell that story to. Who are you gonna tell oh, it yeah. to? Who who are you gonna who are you gonna talk to on your deathbed? Your Twitter followers, like bro, if they're still alive. Like bro, have a family. Get out of like get out of your. I, I can't talk because I still live live with my parents. But um, get out of your uh parents basement and just do something do something like have a family have kids kiss a girl kiss a woman wait sorry kiss a yeah kiss a woman kiss a man actually no no actually no because girls can do that anytime if i'm being honest with you all right kiss a girl if you're a dude do something with your life anything find purpose exactly exactly find some form of purpose i just jeez man like, that's just sad. I was... Like, bro, if I ran an account based on, like, a specific topic, I don't know. I'd be... Yeah, like, I wouldn't make a big deal. I wouldn't make a big deal about it. It's like I wouldn't make a big deal about a celebrity who won't save me when I'm gone, who won't do anything for me when I'm gone, who who isn't doing anything for me now, who isn't making my life... Who isn't making my life any better. Like, you know, I mean, I'm pretty sure even the Swifties... I'm pretty sure even some of the Swifties saw that AI and did uh and, yeah did some things to it. I I don't I don't want to say it, but yeah no they they probably did some some things to it, and now we're getting mad at other people for reposting it. Hmm. Yes. Pretty much, they probably did some sick things to it as well. They probably have the photo in their photo room in their photo um saving their photos too. Yeah. Yeah. Yet they're, yet, yet they're trying to get mad at another person for. You know, reposting it. But, hey, man, it is what it is, man. The Swifties, you know, I wish... I'm going to say this. I'm not trying to insult the Swifties. I wish them the best of luck, and I just pray that they find a bigger purpose. But, you know, once again, it is what it is. It sure is. Yeah. So, um, anybody else at the Grammy? Oh! Actually, I did hear about this one guy who, uh... He said something. Okay. And what did he say? 
Actually, no. Was that the? It was at the Grammys. I, I don't know what. I forgot what he was saying, but all I know is he got arrested at. Oh, okay. Probably wasn't that big if I didn't hear hear, hear about it sooner. Probably wasn't that big of a deal if I didn't hear some stories about it about that. Well, dang, I forgot what the topic was about. Oh, I, I think he was probably um showing his. He's probably showing his support for pa- Palestine or something. I think I saved it on my Instagram. Let me check. Um, yeah, because I, I think I saved it. I, I just forgot what what it was about. Dang, where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Hello. Hello there. Oh yeah, sorry. I, I cut off brief. I cut out briefly. Okay. Yeah, but um, yeah, whatever the video was, I think he I, he was at the Grammys, and I think he was showing his support for something, and then he just got arrested for it. But yeah, for, for the most part. But is there anything like else that happened during the Grammys? No, that I can think of. Uh, there was this curly-haired guy that uh. For some reason, I can't remember his name. Yeah, that's it. Uh, I, I, I can't think of anything from the Grammys that really sticks out to me, honestly. Oh, okay. Uh, let's see what else is in the news. Um, hmm. How to successfully destroy a society. Make <laughs> art ugly. Make porn free. Make God a joke. Make food poison. Make dads optional. Make politicians rich. Make money worthless. Yeah, money is make... pretty much being also. Won. Oh, yeah, also make buildings oppressive. Wait, buildings oppressive? Yeah. What? Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> I don't, <laughs> I don't, don't get it. Either. Buildings? Do they want us to live in tents? <laughs> I don't know either. Who said this? It's just some woman saying how to, how to successfully destroy society and. She makes very good points, but I still don't know how buildings can be oppressive. Yeah, I, I, yeah, no, she made some great <laughs> points there, but I don't know how buildings can be oppressive either, if I'm being honest with you. But, hey, <laughs> you know, it is what it is, man. You know, yeah. um, uh, <laughs> That's crazy. Yeah, I don't get it either, man, but hey, it's something. It's something. It's something, all right. She was, she was, I mean, she was cooking until that last one. Oh, actually, she says something more, like... Make buildings oppressive. Uh, make men and women compete against each other. That's uh, a okay. valid point. Yeah, that's good. She's also said, make cho- make children hate their ancestors. I, yeah, honestly, yeah. Um. Uh. Well, specifically if they're white. Specifically if they're white. Oh yeah. I would say specifically if they're white, make them hate their white ancestors, their whiteness, pretty much. That's the yeah because. Yeah, because white privilege or something, something like that. <laughs> yeah, like you know, it's 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 so terrible, like awful, yeah. you know. Yeah. Anyways, what's what's up? What else is next? Okay. Hate their ancestors. I think that's it. Actually, that's all oh. she said. Oh. Okay. Got you. Okay. Got you. Um. Yeah. But for the most part, um. Yeah, like you know, I can say that our society is going down. I I don't think it, I don't think anyone else is dealing with this other than us. I'm gonna be honest with you. Yeah. Like, is there any other person in this in country in the country, or in any other country that is like you know dealing with this like us? No, right? I bet not. Anyways. Probably no. Yep, of course not. But um, it's just us for some odd reason. <laughs> Yeah, because you know. we have we can we have anything we have everything that would literally be considered a luxury to other people from underdeveloped nations like places in Africa, uh, South and or East Asia. Yeah, yeah. I mean, you know, it is what it is. At the end of the day, man, you know, just we gotta deal with it. Hey, we can either stay, we can either stay where we're at and just eat the poison that they're trying to feed us, which. Well, we have no choice at this moment in time. But, hey, I mean, we have to take the repercautions to, like, make sure that, that you know, the food is good. And, mm-hmm. Or, you know, we can just go, you know, get enough money, go, leave, you know, um, start our own lives. Start our own lives. Um, I, I, I was, I'm really concerned just, like, growing my own food because, well, for one, it would be, it'll be healthier. And, um, yeah, I think the only... I'd have to solve the meat problem, because, like, because, I'll be honest, bro, I, I just can't eat fruit and vegetables. I have to eat some form of meat. Yeah, we need, we need some protein, because it builds our muscles. Exactly. Like, we need, we need some protein. I, I just, I can't just eat fruits and vegetables. I could, but I don't want to. It's just not enough. 
it's not. It's really not enough. But <laughs> yeah, like I yeah, it's like we sorry, I was looking at the video real quick. But yeah, no, it's just not enough. Yeah, there's so much more that we need. Exactly. For our survival. <laughs> I assume Rest didn't get the notification again. Hmm. Yes. I'll be on I'll be honest. So did he he said he only updates the like investor apps, correct? Who updates the investor apps? Um Risk or like he updates specific apps. Yeah. Yeah, he, yeah, he updates specific apps in relates to investment cuz that's all he's, all he's about mostly. Oh. I get it, but I don't get it. Well, there are other things like social media, which is an obvious example, that can distract us and Having to focus on certain apps that uh, that relates to our passions and our purpose is a great way of staying well grounded to our values, beliefs, and oh, okay, our yeah. motives. Yeah, I mean, I'll be honest. Uh, I would love to just disappear, like disappear. Probably not delete the app. Probably not delete my account, but just get off the account. You know how you know how uh, Kanye disappears from like. Instagram for like months to a year. Mm -hmm. That's kind of how I want to do. That's kind of how I want to be someday. Just, I don't know. You know, then come back. Maybe surprise everyone be like, I'm a father. And post a picture of my wife and my kid. Her, the kid's face blurred, of course, because no one needs to see my kid. See my kid's face until they're old, old enough. But yeah, like, you know, pretty much be like, I'm a father. And I met this girl. Yeah. Or just like, yeah, pretty much come back for like special, like post for special occasions. Probably stay on for a week, then go, then go again. Really cool yeah. if I just, it'd be really cool if I just went on there like once a week each, like each month. Stay on Instagram for a week, then leave again. Like just post what I want to post and, you know, just collect new memories um for next month, I guess. <laughs> you know? Yeah. Sounds good. Yeah, like pretty much, like you know, I'd really want to do that. Uh, yeah, so uh, let's talk about this. Let's talk about this. Um, I saw that you uh, <laughs> downloaded, like you know, just like looked at that Presto Presto app. What do you think about it? Well, honestly, there are a couple of things that I believe really stand out to me in a good way, and I think that those functions and features alone could be a good alternative to a place a place like TikTok, Twitter slash X. Instagram and so on. However, there are some things that a lot that a lot other social media apps already do already, and by and if we change those things specifically, I think it can be a proper, well-known, notable alternative social media platform. Honestly, yeah, man. Like you know, it's a. I mean, it only it only pays you like a couple a couple of cents, like you know, per like you know each vibe. But I think it's I think it's definitely interesting. You know, like, I know this because I've literally made 11 cents. You can literally give unlimited vibes. You just got to, you know, watch the ads or just, like, do a quiz and all that stuff. And, like, yeah, you can get, like, more vibes pretty much. Um, yeah, that, that is the, that's the one thing I like about Presto. You watch an ad, you get rewarded for something, and use that however you like. Yeah, I like, think that is something for that project that we're working on. If we could do that, then I think we can make some kind of revenue and distribute that in a in a some kind of budget to to scale up the project to great lengths and possibly that project of ours can also be a notable alternative to major platforms social media i mean hey man let me i mean hey yeah i mean i agree i 100 percent agree and like you know um you know, we should definitely, like, you know, uh, take some notes and, like, you know, take some tips, like, you know, from them. Because, like, you know, they're doing certain things right. But uh, the real question is, how long will they last? Yeah. It is also important that you should also expand out to other sectors, preferably related, so that there's always some kind of market that you're doing well in, instead of just staying one spot the whole time. Exactly. Because you, you never know if that said sector could be in some kind of trouble or at risk and of course boom shut down it's over yeah exactly i mean we <laughs> i'll be honest i want i want them to succeed because it definitely is an interesting concept there was an app that had that same concept where like you know you post it or like you know each time you post it's like you know you get paid a couple cents i forgot what the app was called i'm thinking um 
Parlor, but that's not the app's name. Like, I think Parlor is still a thing, but it's just not as popular. But, um, you know, yeah, it's like, you know, uh, for the most part, hold on just a minute. Sorry, my mom came in. But, uh, hello? Hello, I'm still here. Oh, yeah. So, what was I saying before? Uh, you were talking about this app that you kind of get paid something to Parlor, that, but it isn't Parlor something, kind of? Y- yeah. Oh, yeah, right. I-, I-, I had, like, I downloaded it, too. I just forgot what it was called. <laughs> Like, all I know is, like, you know, you made a couple of cents and, you know, I think there was a specific number that you had to get to to, like, cash out. With with Presto, it's $2. And, you know, that's that's fair. Like, I would say that's fair. You know, and uh, but with this app, I think it was more I think it was more than that, probably. And um, once again, great concept. Just, you know, you probably have to you'd have to be a celebrity to, like, really actually you know get get engagement and like actually make something off it pretty much yeah but with this app like you know anyone can pretty much get get vibes and like you know make a couple cents on the app it's it's pretty good like you know that's i i think that's what they're doing good and i just um i just hope that they can capitalize off this and like you know get um eventually like get more well known and like get more people on the platform so like you know they may succeed and um yeah hopefully they don't end up like clash slash huddles (laughs) Yeah. Oh, uh, huddles. I'm sorry. That's just. I'm surprised they still have the pages up and all. Uh, I don't think they're there anymore. Last time I checked. Really? Yeah. Last time I looked for huddles on a web browser, it didn't. It didn't load up. Huh? Are they still on Twitter? Oh yeah, they are. Let me see. Last time they. Oh, early twenty. 20- Hello everyone. Thank you for your patience as we prepare for. Next phase of our journey. Stay tuned. Stay tuned for what? Where is it? I don't see anything. And it says Huddles is joining a large creator family. I'm sorry. (laughs) A large creator family. Where are they? Yeah, where are where are they at? I don't see them. If they're so big, I hope they're doing good. I hope they're doing great. You know, they probably they probably just stopped doing the app, but like I hope I hope they're doing great. (laughs) Yeah, and they got all and get and they got whatever job opportunities they wanted because. I think that that's one of the reasons they wanted to get a hold of the bike community and rehash it as Clash to begin with. Because I yep. think they know they saw the potential in the bike community. They just they want to like add bits in so it looks like they've actually contributed something into it upon purchasing. And then once they've done what they've done, they get the bag from their investors and and prepare themselves for the next chapter, whether it be some job, other startup, or maybe maybe in retirement if they made that much money. Yeah, honestly, I'll be honest. I think before I deleted Huddles completely, I I deleted like pretty much every video on my account because I'm not gonna lie. I looked back at them and I was I was kind of cringing. I'm not gonna lie. I was kind of I was kind of cringing. I'm not gonna lie to you, bro. It's like I I did some stupid things. Some of them were good. Some of them were wholesome, and those ones I kept up, but the other ones I just got rid of because I'm like, uh, I, I, if I can't look at it, then bro, I don't. It's not good. It's not good. If I can't even look at it, mm-hmm. but yeah. Um, anything else? Let me check. That recent tweet from them only had three quote retweets. Really? Yeah. Wait, who so, had three quote, wait? Who had three quote retweets? Uh, the recent tw- the the recent tweet from the Huddles Twitter account. Oh, wait! Recent retweets? No, quote retweets from like oh last quote, year. Oh, quote retweets. Oh yeah, let me. Oh, any update? <laughs> uh, 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 oh, come on now. Say that. Yeah, like it, it's a process. I bet you one of us said, probably not. Try to try to drop the ball in the court like that. I kind of want to. I kind of want to share this in in the bits chat now. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> Yes. Bro, come on, man. You gotta give them time. Yeah. It, it's, it's, it's complicated. It, it takes a lot of patience, you know? Patience it, it, is key. Exactly. I'll be honest. I only feel bad for some people who put their eggs in this basket because they were probably... At, some people were actually relying were probably actually relying on this, too, to, like, you know, be a full-time content creator. Some. Yeah. Not a lot. Like, I, I just feel bad. I kind of just feel bad for those people. Yeah, I say the same. Yeah, because, I mean, hey, you know, I mean, I'll be honest. 
at one at one point. I was kind of relying on it too, but I kind of knew I was like, oh, okay, yeah, no, this isn't going. So it's like you know, it's almost been a, it's technically almost been a year. Like you know, after after it, like it reaches the third of seventeenth, it's gonna be a full year since like you know they announced this tweet and has done nothing. But imagine if they just came back on this day specifically, the third of twenty. Sorry, the seventeenth of twenty twenty. Hmm. Anyways, what else is there? Oh, I want to see what the response is. <laughs> oh man, <laughs> uh, it's kind of funny, but it's also kind of sad. I mean, you know, just yeah. Hey, you know, um, I want to read the the other the other like three. Yeah, f yeah, f that huddle huddles was was a was a good TikTok alternative, and especially right now when it's risk of being banned in the U.S. First, y'all took bite and clash, combined it, and then yeah, f this all over. Bite was good on its own, on its own, and so was Clash. Okay. Remember Bite? Divine, Divine reincarnated. What everyone was moving to after TikTok was threatened with being shut down. This is what this is what it's currently at. What it what is this? That second rebrand? And any updates. That is someone even bookmarked it too. Yeah. Huh. Must be wow. future reference. Maybe. <laughs> but hey, you know, uh, hey, this is... Should, maybe they should change the name for one. I mean, you know, the name is probably... Yeah, the name just is just... Generic. It is. It is. Um, when, I think of, when I think of huddles, I think of friends huddling up to, like, you know, talk about ideas and all that stuff. But, you know, huddles. That sounds or like... Okay, gang, huddle. Huddle up. Now, what are we going to do about this? How are we going to solve this mystery? Like, that... I think of the gang from sh- from Scooby Doo huddling up and like figuring out how they're gonna solve a mystery. But yeah, for the most part, hey, you know, it was it was it was cool. I mean, Clash was cool. Um, I'm not gonna lie, they pretty much paid people to be on there, and I'm like, okay. Um, they probably could have done that a whole different way. They could have saved a bunch of money at by not paying anyone. But hey, I, I get it though. I get it, and I'm pretty sure those people just took the money and they're like, okay, you know, let me just use this post three, four times on this, then, like, go back to TikTok. Oh, yeah. Huh. I wonder where they're all at now. Probably during their lives. Their lives, perhaps? Most likely. Their lives. Uh, I'll be honest. Are you still in the, uh, are you still in the, uh, uh, the bite, the bite community thing? What's been going on there? Because I'll be honest, I left a long time ago. Yeah. I think every Friday we do, like, voice chats and have, a discuss- have discussions, like, I think I think there was this one discussion that was very interesting. Like we, I think the gang in that survey kind of discussed about Epstein's island and the people that were involved with Epstein's clientele, something. Oh, okay. Well, yeah. At least they were t- like, yeah. What did they say? Like, you know, specifically. I can't remember exactly. All right. Uh, how about just a specific? A sp- Actually, they may have sent something. Which I could show you, if only I can find it. Which I will. Ha ha ha. Arc, 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 Mr. Krabs. Alright, well at least they were talking about something interesting. I mean, you know, but... Here's the here's the question, though. I'm not talking about them, I'm talking about just, like, people in general. Are these people gonna stop supporting these pe- these creeps? The pedophiles. Yeah, the pedophiles, pretty much. Are they gonna stop supporting these pedophiles? No. The thing is, who could we... How, how would we know if they're pedophiles or not? That's true. How would we know? The only way we can know is this Epstein list. This is this Epstein's list, but you know, I I think some names have been leaked, but they have and confirmed, but the list itself has not been leaked, hmm. right? Interesting. Am I, am yeah. I correct? Yeah, you are. Okay. Yeah. Right, I, like, and I and I found something. I just sent to you right now. Okay. Oh yeah. Also, people have been saying that like you know Whoopi Goldberg was cloned, and I can either she got a liposuction and like you know just. She either got a liposuction and she just somehow young made herself look younger than she looked before. Wait, was it Whoopi Goldberg or was it Oprah? I feel it's more likely Oprah because I feel she's the more the more youthful of the two. Ah, okay, got you. Oprah, yeah. Yeah, definitely was Oprah. Yeah, she made her she either got a liposuction and made herself look way like a little bit more younger. She pushed back the clock a bit, or she actually did get cloned. Who knows? Yeah, who knows? 
But yeah, no, like, you know, to the public eye, you could believe, yes, liposuction because, let's face it, she definitely, no offense, she did not work all that weight off. She's rich. She's got money. She can do that. Get a liposuction and, you know, get the extra skin off and just, yeah, look, yeah, look, um, look her best. And, uh, yeah, for the most part. Or she just got cloned. And they just... Yeah iced the original one or the or the original one is just somewhere in a laboratory resting just letting her clone do do her do her work yeah but yeah you know these creeps know that they know where they're going when they die mm, yeah shoot i'll be honest it's also embarrassing when like you know certain celebrities try to act like they're young like for instance madonna she is not grown up she's not mature she, she tries to still act like she's in her 20s and i'm like look Give it up. <laughs> Give it up. Come on. It's actor. over. It's over. Like, look, maybe if you were born somewhere in like 19, then yeah, you could probably, you could act like that. But hey, you were born in the later years. You grow up. Grow up. Your younger years are behind you. And look, you maybe can get with younger men, but at the same time, bro, it's like, look, your, your years are behind you. Your young years are behind you. Like, grow up. You should have. You should have had. You should have had a family when you had the chance. Now you're old, rich, and alone. And the only dopamine hit you have, the only dopamine hit she has, the only thing that she can be satisfied from is partying, drinking, probably smoking. I don't really know what she does. And sex. I bet you. I bet you. And I can bet this. She probably cries. She probably. She probably sometimes cries about it too. And puts up a front. Because, like, as a, as a man or a woman... Or she doesn't. I could be wrong. I really I really could. Because some people can actually live... Some people can actually live that way and be happy. And, you know, that's that's no doubt about that. Yeah. Shoot. <laughs> I mean... Kind of reminds me of Charlie from Two and a Half Men. Where, like, you know, he was living the bachelor lifestyle and he was just happy. Yeah, some people can actually be happy. Whether if you're a man or a woman. But... Let's face it, the majority of people aren't gonna be happy doing that. Why do you think um why do you think when uh women are get get to thirty, they would wanna they would wanna have a family? Cause like bro, they realize that, you know, they can't be doing that forever. They're getting older. Like and plus also, it would be embarrassing if they were at the club with a bunch of with a bunch of like, you know, attractive twenty year olds. Yeah. I mean, a, a man, well, it could be embarrassing, but I wouldn't say it's that embarrassing. It de- it definitely can be embarrassing. Depending on who you are, if you have money or not, or how you look. But um, yeah, anyways, yeah, it could be embarrassing. But um you know what? It's embarrassing but for both. But if you're both rich sides, and, yeah. Yeah, for both sides it's it's embarrassing. Because <laughs> if you're a woman, it's embarrassing because you're trying to get the attention that you should be getting from your hus from your husband and your kids in a club and it's embarrassing as a man because well um i don't know people would just say you, you're having a midlife crisis i'm gonna be honest with you that's probably that's there's probably other factors too but i just can't think of them right now but yeah no it's, it's embarrassing on both sides i would say if you're if you're a 50 year old man and you're still doing that then i don't know if you're not bro come on now <laughs> come on i mean i get it Look, you want to relive your young years, but bro, come on, bro. Just settle down with a nice woman. Have a family. Sit back and, I don't know, teach your kid what you know and tell him not to settle down too late. Mm, yes. But yeah, how many minutes have we uh, been doing it so far? So, uh, depend- excluding the editing, uh, we've been recording for like, nearly exactly 47 minutes. Oh, wow. Okay. Got you. Okay, cool. Yeah. All right. Epstein, Epstein's flight logs and released in USA versus a Maxwell. So, is Maxwell just going to stay in prison for the rest of our life? Nothing? I guess so, yeah. Alright. Hmm. Well, what are you watching? It's like the, the episode that I did. I, I was listening to music. I was, uh, yeah, it's, it's making me laugh. Oh, okay. So, uh, I'm watching... Uh, this is competition. Uh, how much do you know about Eurovision? What happened? How much do you know about Eurovision? I, I don't know why. I feel like I heard that somewhere before, but I don't know much about it. Okay, so briefly, Eurovision is a song contest. It's kind of it, it's kind, it's kind of like the Olympics or the FIFA World Cup, but it's 
it's mainly competitive music and entries. So, and it, it's actually the most watched non-sporting event in the world. Huh. Wow. It's pretty big. And it's been going on since, like, the mid-50s. So it's like, that's, it was like after World War Two, when everyone was trying to clear up the mess that both sides had made in the first place, they thought, how about we make a song competition to promote peace and harmony? And they've been going strong ever since with that concept, with what is the Eurovision Song Contest. Oh, wow. Okay. Well, at least they're trying to promote peace and harmony, even though it's... Yeah. Not working, but, you know, I, I appreciate it. Well, at least it's to distract us from the horrible things happening in this world. That's true. And it can be yeah. a moment It can be a moment of distraction, but, you know, hey, it is what it is at the end of the day. Uh, you know, I look on Instagram and I see these women with their filters, with their hair, their beautiful faces, but are they really going to feel like doing that 30 years from now? Sorry, 20, or let me say 20. 20 years from now? 30? Yeah. Just at seems... some point... Oh, you could finish. At... <laughs> anyway, uh, at some point, they're all going to feel wrinkly and uh, a bit out of energy. And yeah, they're, just... they're not going to feel the same in a, in a few years. I don't feel the same, and I'm 21. That's crazy. Not like not not in a painful way though. Like just I, I not in a painful way though. I, I just literally don't feel the same. It's like I don't know. It's like I was when I was twenty. It's like all right, cool. But when I turned twenty one, I was like, okay, I feel a bit old. I feel old. <laughs> you know, yeah. I, I just feel old. You know what I wonder though? What I'm seeing The Rock a lot lately. I I wonder. Was he involved? Who was involved? Uh, the Rock, Dwayne Johnson. I don't lie. I I'm certain at some point he would have. You think? Especially, yeah, especially. Well, one one thing that sticks out to me is what we what he did with Oprah Winfrey about the the Maui's People Trust Fund, something yeah. like that. Yeah. You think at one point he would have, or you know, cause... here's the thing: he's a fan. He's a family man. He has he has his own kids, you know. Yeah. So I wouldn't think a family man who has his own kids, who has a huge family, would do that. Just like I wouldn't w believe that John Cena would do that. Because like, no, yeah. Because like, here's the thing: John Cena, the kids love John Cena. I love I love John Cena, so I would not believe that he would do that. Plus, he's married. He's married. He has a wife. So, I mean, you know, I, I can't believe that either of them would do that. And if any of them did do that, it was pro. And if... Let me take John out of this. <laughs> and, if the Rock, and if The Rock did do that, I feel like it would have been a moment where he was trying to, like, advance his career, but then, but then regret, but then regretted doing it. Yeah. I think, I think he, I think any, I think anyone who does that regrets doing it, but the sickos would enjoy like you know, especially the people who did a who did it one off and like you know, just to advance their careers. But there are some people who are sick individuals who enjoy doing that, but they still have the guilt in the back of their conscience, so they let us know that they did it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so like you know, we'd be like, oh, we told you, um, man, yeah, we, we told, told you. you so. Yeah, we told you we did this. I mean, you know, you should have, you shouldn't be surprised. We told you we did this. We told Why you. Why didn't we... you listen? Yeah, why didn't you listen? Like, why didn't you pick up on like you know the subtle co the subtle things we were saying? Why didn't you pick up on the codes? We do this. We're sick individuals. It's in our blood. Sadly, well, it's their sick fantasies. <laughs> but it's their sick fantasies. Really, it's not really. It's not even in their blood. It's not even in human nature to to want to hurt a ch a child. But hey, some of them, some of them, like in our soul. Are so soulless that they would that they would, to either make themselves look younger or, for for something else really. But I would say like, look, is it real? Like, look, you're you're gonna die someday. Is it really worth making yourself look ten, twenty years younger again? Like, is this really? So worth they can't. Huh? Can't what? Honestly, I lost my track of thought now. <laughs> okay. <laughs> make themselves look a ten, twenty, ten year, twenty years younger. They can't. They can, but they don't have to use. 
children for that. Yeah, the, 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 uh, there are better ways, like facial massage. Shoot, they're rich. They can get surgery. Yeah. They're why rich. They pay their own, why can't they just pay for that? Like, exactly. we, there's a lot of celebrities who have paid good money for surgery. Shoot, although Madonna. may not may look good, but it, at least they're paying money for something. Hey, if Madonna can get plastic surgery in her face, you can you can too. Well, unless you have enough money, that is, because yeah, you know you have... how pricey that is. And if you don't have enough money, then just use natural skincare skincare ointments. Actually, matter of fact, one thing I want to use to try and grow my beard is uh, I saw it in a video where this guy said where like you know where this guy uh, reacting. I forgot his name, but he goes by something the stallion or something like that. And he said, like, you know, anybody with a beard, like, if you had to choose between a, a goatee and a beard, you would choose a goatee. Because this TikToker was, like, maturing is realizing that goatees are better than a beard. And I'm like, bro, I have a, bro, I have some patches in my beard, and even I know having a beard is better than a goat. Hmm, it's, yeah. it's like, I'm not even in denial. I, I, sh I shave because, I shave, um, I cut my beard down to a stubble because I don't like looking at it at times. Because it's like, bro, I just... I'm, I look at the patches and I'm like, why could my why can't my beard be like that? Beard uh, Drake used to have a decent beard, but I'm like, not. I, I think it's just the braids that are making him look bad. But you know, other than that, you know, it's like yeah, I don't I don't want to go to because I don't feel like shaving my face for like you know for that all the time. I'll do it on special occasions, just not all the time. Yeah. Like I want to look like a, I want to look like a a wise, a wise man, a a, a twenty one year old wise man. You know, just have the beard. It's just like you know, comb my beard, feel my beard. Like you know, when I'm thinking of something, like you know, just scratch my chin. Like, hmm. You know, I like have I like having a full beard. It's just the patches that I have to worry about. But yeah, do you still have it? Do you still have? Pa I do. I do have a few, but I don't think it's going to be too much of a problem because my beard's growing fuller and fuller by the day and those patches are starting to fill up naturally so yeah i, I don't work i don't i'm not too conscious about my beard all that much oh well okay well regard well regardless i don't mind i don't mind shaving i don't mind shaving it either because i don't look terrible like you know without a beard though besides i keep a stubble ain't i besides i keep a stubble anyways mm -hmm. so you know but yeah, anything else? Uh, no, nothing else. Alright, shall we end it here? Yeah.